everyone, welcome back. As you can see, looks like we're packing some stuff up, and that's right, we're finally going on a trip. This is a different one for us. We are renting an RV, and we're traveling across the country. Let me explain. An RV and we are renting our RV in the Twin Cities and we're going out to Yellowstone via South Dakota and then we're going up through Montana back through North Dakota back to Minneapolis to return the RV. Now the, the RV we're renting is through Cruise America and we just wanted to go over a few things that we packed because Cruise America does offer uh, some kits you can purchase like they have a linen kit for $60 a person and then they have a kitchen kit which is a hut is $110 a person. So we figured we could kind of just pack those things on our own. So first I want to go through kind of some like linens, kind of clean supplies, and kind of household things like that, that that we're taking along with us. So first off was the linen kit. In the linen kit that Cruise America offered, it had sheets, a sleeping bag, um, towels, might, might have been one other thing. So that's everything that's in here. We have our comforter, we have our sheets, we have pillows, and then also, we're bringing along another kind of blanket because it's going to get cold in Yellowstone. So we want to make sure we stay nice and warm. And obviously our towels are here. A couple other things we packed. These are reusable paper towels. And we've been using them. They're essentially like a dish rag. You just wipe it down, wipe stuff down with it. It works really well. We've got some towels for wipe for drying, some other towels for drying. We've got some plastic bags if we got extra food or... Want to keep snacks fresh? Yeah, regular paper towels. But we're gonna to try to avoid using these as much because if you use paper towel, that produces trash. If you have trash, you have to throw it away. Trash bags, like I said, we don't want to use, but we will need. We also have some. Um, we have regular Dawn soap here. We also have some of these disposable um, dish soaps because in some of the places, water is gonna be a little limited. Um, we do have a water tank with the RV, and we'll go over the RV and everything later with that, but these are really nice because they already have soap built into them and uh, scrub brushes as well. Some more kitchen towels. We have a, a drying mat that we use because I don't believe that there's a dishwasher except the two of us, so this is a nice little device if we're being stationary, we can put it on the counter, put dishes on the counter to dry. Two lanterns. Now the RV does have lights obviously that work on the battery, but if we're ever outside at night, um, I believe there's external lights as well, but these are just some nice lanterns. Got these off Amazon, real simple. Citronella candles, same kind of idea sitting outside. There are bugs outside, don't want that to happen. Don't want to get bug bites. Um, got some, we brought a cutting board with us, which you'll see in, in the kitchen setup. But we also have these disposable cutting sheets. We just kind of have them in case, but I don't think we'll use them. Got bug spray sunscreen, soap, aloe vera, should you get sunburn. <laughs> and this is always handy to have with these little travel size hand sanitizer. Clorox wipes. Now this is important. This we kind of just realized in our research. This is RV toilet paper. So I think the only difference is, is it's not as thick. It's only two ply, or I think some of the stuff might be four ply, so it just goes through the RV's um, plumbing system better. So this is something, again, we got off Amazon. I think it was only like, I don't remember, 10 bucks or something. It was this much. And this will be fun for me. This I haven't actually looked at yet, but. These are my gloves. I think we might have gotten a little too long. These are my gloves for when we have to dump the wonderful gray and black water tanks. So again, these are just a few things, kind of more of the um, side of things of like cleaning and kind of that stuff. I will go over the kitchen kit as well now. Our 
pitching kit. Like I said, Cruise America offers one for $110, but we decided we could make one on our own. Kind of the first thing we did was we decided, what are we going to cook? Because that's what we're going to need in our kitchen. And the meals we're doing are pretty basic because, well, we just want to spend time enjoying everything else and not cooking. So, some nights we're going to have electricity and campfires, some nights we're not. So that's how, that's kind of how we structure our meals. And uh, lunches, same kind of thing. Sometimes we'll have electricity, sometimes we won't. So, let me very quickly, I'll go over our kitchen kit, and then that's it. So for starters, we really like coffee, so we're trying to figure out a way to have coffee in the RV. Now this is just a simple pour-over system. Put your filter in, put your grounds in, pour your coffee, and you got hot coffee. Now to heat that water, we got a tea kettle here to heat the water. And then we have some Yeti thermoses, and these are our to-go mugs. And also we got some coffee pot, or coffee cups, excuse me. And these are going to double as uh, soup bowls as well. So they're multi-use. Less, less things we had to take. So here we go. We also brought these two Yeti containers, which are going to be used for, you know, either your wine, cocktails, if you want some orange juice, if you're feeling fancy. Hi, Jazz! Don't mind the cat. So, got the Yeti things as well. Like I said, just very quickly, I'll run over kind of some other things. We got our, got your pots, got your pans. Um, we got two different types. This is multi-use. We're gonna be making some rice, plus this can make, you know, bacon and eggs. So again, kind of the same pot can make multiple things. We got our grill utensils. Then you got like your standard, your whisk, your whisk, spatula, Knife, measuring spoons, measuring cups, meat thermometer. This is kind of like a newer thing. We don't mind the whole reusable straw thing, so we, I don't know where she got these, but we have some rubber straws because we do not like paper straws, and these fold better than our metal ones. We got a kind of a bowl set, like for, you know, probably salad. I wouldn't put something too hot in here. It feels kind of flimsy, but for salads, this would be good. We got, we got bowls, more bowls, and some plates. This, I think, Tara all got from Target. Pretty cheap. Measuring cup. Wine stop. Shot, ah, uh, I can't remember what this is called. This thing. Another mixing bowl. Got you know knives, forks here, plastic cups. We got aluminum foil. A couple of nights we're going to be making uh, potatoes wrapped in aluminum foil with some meat. Um, so we need that plastic wrap, cutting board, cookie sheet. Got some hot pad holders here, more tongs, um, koozies. If you liked any kind of canned or any products like that. Uh, food scissors, but just any type of scissors in general, I think you're gonna find a need for them. Lighter. So that's kind of the basics that I went through, again, very quickly. Um, I can leave a list in the description of both, both of these packing lists that we came up with, but now we just gotta get all this stuff in the car and get it up to the RV and get on our way. So stay tuned, we got more to come. Like I said, we're leaving our trip very shortly. It's a 10-day trip that we're taking, so plenty of good videos coming. Thanks for tuning in.